Capricorn 20, a hidden choir singing. So we have three things here, the, the hidden, the choir, and the singing. And the, um, the idea here is that a group of people are doing the same thing at the same time, and all of them have the idea that the group experience is more important than the individual experience. So that's the choir singing. And the singing is done in harmony. So each of the singers is doing something perhaps a little bit different from some of the others. And the diversity of expression adds to the beauty of the whole. That's implicit within the idea of a choir. The choir, I think in this case, is, is, is a church choir. And the, the idea of, of um, spiritual worship is included. And of course, the idea of being hidden is um, to reduce the expression of self. Self-proclamation is, is not going on here. Group pro proclamation is going on. So we're putting ourselves into a more surrendering mode, a, more, a, a, a mode of service to the group experience. And um, what happens as, um, <clears throat> as we do this is that the experience of the group consciousness arises. If a group of people are all doing the same thing at the same time, most particularly if their breathing rhythm is aligned, which occurs when you're singing together, then that, that resonance on a very subtle level of breath, that creates the conditions through which a group consciousness arises, which is splendid. It's so much more fulfilling and, and lovely than the highest that you could ever attain alone. And <clears throat> I think also this, this idea of hidden is important. Um, so often when we serve, it seems altruistic to serve, and yet it's not. Partly because we enjoy the activity that we're engaged in when we serve, so it's serving our joy. Also because it, it sometimes enhances our kudos. If, if we serve somebody, we get a better reputation, and, and we like that feeling. That gives us a sense of self-worth. And, and it's um, the case sometimes when we serve, we're, we're serving for that result. And yet here, the service is hidden. A certain anonymous group of people are singing as beautifully as they can, having practiced a huge amount in the cold winter months, perhaps, in order to be of service to the ceremony of worship. And this is a practice of humility. And the, um, the idea of putting yourself into worship is partly because this is one of the, the, the best ways to experience this wonderful feeling of, of humility. Um, music really is an excellent metaphor for spirituality. Uh, it's necessary to harmonize to produce beautiful music as it is with with life if, if if you live a life alone it can be good but if you harmonize your life with another it's so much better and um, music is nonverbal in the sense that we're not using um, the left brain to explain ourselves we're just using the voice to produce beauty um, and the experience when it's done in this harmonic choir sense is one of the highest spiritual experiences that's available in the normal sort of term of, of, of a week or a month so it's um it's really good to to, to join a choir actually and and similarly with um with a choir you have a certain group of people, many of whom may not like each other individually, and that's irrelevant. And it could be the same in your life. If you think about the, the, the choir, which is your life, 
all the people that make up the choir of your life, to use that metaphor. Um, some are pleasant company, relaxing, people that you want to spend time with, hang out with. But others, they're there because they're useful. They might be a, a plumber or a builder or something that you, you pay to to help you out now and again. Or, or it might be um, somebody whose interests in yours coincide enough to put aside your strong differences of opinion on politics or, or whatever. So we, we actually make up um, a, a bunch of people to create our lives. Individually, they, they, they may not be whom we would select to spend time with. And I think this is a very good image of, of how life is. You know, we, 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 it's like a village, the same thing in a village. There's a lot of people in a village that you don't really want to be with, but the experience of the village as itself, as a village with a village consciousness, is well worth the individual um, inconvenience of dealing with people whom you don't like. You have to adjust yourself, you have to accommodate the differences that there are. Um, and that accommodation, that preparedness, that willingness, that social skill of accommodating somebody else's idiosyncrasies and strange behavior and attitude, that's a path on, on the spiritual journey. Um, in Sufism, this, this whole idea is expressed in the concept of the expression of unity through diversity and the movement towards unity through diversity as well. So universe, unity and diversity are, are simply polar expressions of the one being. Um, it, it, it's not really possible to, to move to the highest level of personal self-exaltation unless we do that in the context of, of sharing ourselves with a group. Now, of course, a choir is, is, is one example, but there are others. The village is another, but it might be a sports team or the office where you work or, or, or some other club or association where collectively you achieve a purpose, and that purpose is more important than your own individual wants and needs. Mm -hmm.